Welcome back. We are getting uh, ready to go on our cruise on the Disney Wonder really soon. We're going to be packing this weekend. We're going to be going to do a little bit of pre-cruise shopping, showing you guys some new stuff that we got for our cruise. There's a lot to do and the girls just started spring break. We are all super excited to get away. I was just telling Chris this morning when we were going for a walk, this is one good thing about waiting to pack because you have to because you're so busy is that now it's like, oh boy, we have to pack because we are leaving really soon. It's not like, oh, I'm just gonna linger and pack. It's like, I gotta get this done and when I get it done, we're basically going. So I am so excited. It's been a nice relaxing day. We started with some pancakes. I think Chris said maybe in our last vlog, him and I have been trying to eat kind of healthy because we like to prepare ourselves for all the eating we do on the cruise. I've been doing the eating clean kind of thing. The pancake breakfast is a little bit of an exception, but it's still sort of clean. So I do these Kodiak cakes that are whole wheat pancake mix, bananas, some butter and honey and walnuts, and it is so, so tasty. Of course, the girls, they have their plain regular old pancakes with um, chocolate chips. We got these peanut butter chips from Trader Joe's, which I haven't tried yet, but when Alyssa had them with the bananas, I was like, oh man. That's tempting. I got my pre-cruise pedicure with my friends this morning. So that was really fun to hang out with some friends. Sorry, Chris, I didn't take any pictures while I was there, but um, my my feet are here and I have my, my purple toes now. I'm glad you have, still have your feet. I'm glad that the, you kept those during your pedicure. I'm just saying I have evidence of my pedicure because I have purple toenails now. We're making some lunch at home and then Chris is headed off with Lindsay down to Turlock to do some shopping and Alyssa and I, well, I'm gonna do a Target pickup and then I'm going to Marshall's with Alyssa and I think everything else that we need to get for the cruise, it will be done and then we can start packing. For the last month, I've been trying to eat healthier, but for the last week, I've really done a good job of avoiding sweets. I think the only thing like sugary I've put in is something in my coffee. Uh, but beyond that, haven't had any sweets, haven't had a dessert. I am pretty much at the goal weight. Here's Carrie. I'm pretty much at the goal weight uh, for that, that I wanted to be at for the cruise. I was gonna say, so just keep that in mind. When you see us ordering six desserts at night, <laughs> just remember we have not had any for like two weeks. And so yeah. we're making up for lost time. And if you <laughs> evenly distributed that dessert, it would be a normal amount of dessert. Totally, yeah, that's, that's like, Kind of like girl math, but... No. I love girl math. I know. Yeah, that is exactly... <laughs> but for eating. That's exactly what it is. You're right. <laughs> Man, and then last night, I was so hungry when we went to bed. Oh, gosh. We, Every night I've gone to bed hungry the last week. We were eating healthy and eating early, and then I was looking through my phone, and I just kept seeing all these desserts and food, and I was like, I cannot wait to get on that ship. I know. So tell us in the comments, what's your first thing that you like to get if you've been to Cabanas? Because we're kind of like envisioning Cabanas I know. right now. I know. Yeah, that's how, that's how like hungry you are for like really good just comfort food mm -hmm. is Cabanas, which is not the best, best food on the ship. No. But it's something that we're super excited about. Mm -hmm. Alyssa was just sneaking behind us to drop off her dishes from her lunch, but Carrie and Alyssa just got their hair done yesterday. You got a little trim and Alyssa got a little bit of a styling going on. Yeah, we got our haircuts and she went for, what is it called, curtain bangs? Yeah, for sure. It looks really cute. Thanks. Yeah. Carrie and Alyssa left a little while ago. We're gonna go down to Old Navy. I put an order in last night and it's ready for pickup. See if there's any other clothes we need to get or anything for the cruise. Cookies. Crumble cookies, thank you. And we're also gonna go to Crumble Cookies and get a couple cookies because we haven't gotten them in a while and they have one down there. And I think I'm gonna get a cookie for Carrie and I that I'm gonna put in the fridge and eat tomorrow or Monday morning to like kick off vacation. Hi. How are you doing? Good. It's a nice day. I like feeling clean. It's so like nice. And the weather's really nice too. So I'm yeah. really happy. And you also uh, mowed the lawn earlier, which was helpful. I did. I was like, Ugh. it's the first day of spring break. So I was like, I really don't want to. I know. But it was either this day or it was either today or it was going to be the day after we got back from vacation. And tomorrow I go to church and then I go to hang out with some friends and I didn't want to do that in between. Today was just the best option, so I sucked it up. And you earned $20, so that's I good. Did. Good job. Thank you. And also, you finished out the school week strong. I did, I got, I aced both my tests, which were like really hard and I studied like a lot for, so I'm very proud of myself for that. Yeah, that was too. That was Thanks. good. You. you ready? Yes. All right, let's get going. 
Well, we survived. Uh, barely. Probably. You're doing good. Thank you. Need any clothes today? Nothing that I can really like think of from the top of my mind, but if I see something I like. You got some nice uh, jeans? Yes. I'm, I'm digging the cargo pant look. Thank you. They're from Chili's. I like them a lot. Lindsay found a few shirts. I got a few jeans. Those are cute. She took some uh, pictures trying them on and they look good. He cringed at them because he thought they were like weird. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Well, we're going to go pick up some crumble cookies, bring it home. I'm not going to eat any today because I am committed to finishing out the day today, not eating any sweets before the cruise and maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Lindsay and I made it home safely. Got a couple jeans. Lindsay got a few shirts. Carrie and Alyssa got home. They went to shopping at Marshall's. They got a few things. So I think we are all set for everything we need for the cruise. Now we need to pack. Oh, and crumble cookies are in the fridge until after dinner tonight, at least for the girls. Unless Carrie, you want to have cookies tonight. Fulfilling my commitment. We'll see. Let's wait. I think we'll be able to wait. I'll have my cookie tomorrow. Yeah, me too, I think. Well, it's still Saturday and a little bit later in the day, we've been starting our packing process, putting everything on the bed, finishing up our laundry. There are a couple things that are new that we're bringing that we want to highlight and Carrie had a few things she wanted to show you guys as well. Alyssa and I went to Marshall's earlier and she is a hard person to take shopping because somehow I end up buying more stuff than I was planning on when I bring her. So I, I should have learned my lesson by now, but we did have a fun time. I found some new shoes that I'm going to have. I'm only bringing one pair of cute dress shoes. I like those. I, I wore them around for a while because I was deciding between these and another pair. Um, and these were only 24 bucks. So I feel like Marshall's is a good Yeah, deal. Marshall's and Ross, those are not the easiest places to shop at. Yeah. They have good deals though when you find something good. We for sure had to go get coffee afterwards. I was like, I need coffee. I've gotten a few pairs of these little sneakers from Marshalls. These are not the exact same ones, but they're the same brand. And my other, and they're 20 bucks. So I like having some jeans and sneakers. And I know I say this in every vlog, but this time I'm really trying to pack light. Like I'm not actually trying to get into a carry-on bag, but I did notice last time that with less stuff, it took me less time to pack back up. So I am packing minimum, like no extra shirts, no extra anything, just everything I need. I probably won't buy a sweatshirt. So I am bringing my sweatshirt that my friend Crystal made for me. Um, actually almost exactly a year ago when we went on the magic, I believe that's been a year. I know. Um, so this is my vacation shirt. Now I've worn it a few different places. I'm bringing all my spirit jerseys, which I have three and I feel like it's going to be actually kind of chilly at night. So that's one thing I finally learned is you think cruise, you think warm, but really walking around at night, especially outside, it can get pretty chilly. Well, the ship's moving, so yeah. th there's a reason, yeah. And we love to walk around at night, walk the deck several times. I'm bringing my lounge fly backpack. Chris gave me this one as a present after I saw it on someone else and thought it was super cute. I'm only bringing two bathing suits. I mean, it's only a four night cruise. People ask in comments on vlogs, vlogs a lot where I get my bathing suits. Um, I get all my bathing suits from Hapari. It's an online store and a lot of times they have really good discounts. I mean, that's not why I buy them. I like them because they're kind of, they're comfy and modest um, and you can kind of walk around in them and feel comfortable. But in case you have ever asked me that question, that's where I get them, Hapari. I did buy two new dresses. Um, these are from Cupshe, which is where I usually buy Lindsay and Alyssa's bathing suits. Uh, and they look super cute when you see them on the model that's wearing them and then they came and I'm like, it looks kind of frumpy, but it, I, hopefully it will work out. I, I tried it on. I think with those shoes, maybe it'll be cute, but, um, most of the other dresses I have, I've worn a few times. So I wanted to have some new dresses. I have one for Paulo, probably this one. And then if I wear another dress, another night, it'll be this one. Speaking of Paulo. Yeah. We tried to get a reservation for Paula Brunch for a long time and nothing sh popped up. Two days ago, uh, reservations popped up. But it's only for you and me. But I made a reservation for your dad like a half an hour earlier than ours. So we're going to get on the ship and try to see if they can like merge us together. Yeah. I have an envelope full of cash. 20s and 5s and 1s. 
and we have some thank you cards. I still need to go buy candy for um, the movie theaters that the girls can take down with them or if we could take down with us. I did get some Dove chocolate eggs to make little gift bags for our um, servers and stateroom attendants with. I have a book. I got this one for Christmas. This book is called Cutting for Stone. A lot of people recommended it to me. I have not read this author, although he has another really popular book right now. So I heard this one's hard to get into. So I hope that I can really enjoy it on the cruise. I'm looking forward to it. I called the girls up here because we have some things to give them. Alyssa has seen her shirt because she picked it out. It's cute. It is super cute. I yeah. love it. I bought this one for my dad because I doubt he has anything Disney to wear. So it looks like something he'd like. Yeah, hopefully he'll like it. Classic Steamboat Willie. Lindsay, here's your shirt. Lindsay did not want a shirt because she is very thrifty. She doesn't Stop. like it when we spend money on things that are unnecessary. Like Magic Band Pluses. Yeah, exactly. but I thought she might like this shirt, so. I like the color. <laughs> what, did mom do a good job? <laughs> she did do a good job. <laughs> I love it. I want to be where the people aren't. It's like the anti-aerial shirt. I bought this shirt for myself. Well, it looks like something you'd like. It's not Disney, it's not but Apple. it's pretty. It's cute. It's Anchor. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this is our everyday life of, you know, being called cringe and all those kinds of things. Yes, we're so cringe. And here's my other cringe shirt that I got for myself. Though the first thing that I thought of was August by Taylor Swift. Of course you did. Dad also had something that he wanted to give us. I yes. don't actually know anything about Each this. of you. By the way, Alyssa is practicing with some press-on nails and she's very scary. We have a chalkboard downstairs and she was acting like she was going to scratch the chalkboard. Oh, that's a bad move. If she does that, what did I say? You said I wouldn't be able to wear nails. I also said you'll <laughs> never ever be able to have fake nails again until after you leave it, move out of our house. <laughs> she should have. That's for you. It's for you. And that is... For you. I got your boxes. Oh, that reminds me of something else I want to show you all. Okay. Uh, girls first. Oh, earrings. Dude, those were a bonus gift from the shop, but got Dole Whip, Mickey ice cream bar, and Mickey waffles. Oh, I like how it has like a little bite. It's cute. That's super cute. All right. And for Alyssa's. Ah. Oh, oh, cute. cute. Yeah, Mickey pretzel and Mickey ice cream bar. It's cute. It says, thank you. Enjoy your trip. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, but, thank you. But I know you like the dangly earrings. Yeah, she does. Is that why you asked me before? Yep. I was yeah. just thinking the same thing. Ooh, super cute. Yeah, the same ones I got for Lindsay. Yay. <gasps> oh, I love these. These are so cute. I thought you would like oh, those ones. so cute. Yeah, super it's like an acrylic, I think, but it's like a beach. Bahamian Caribbean water. From me. She's not going to steal them from me. Very cute. <laughs> that reminds me. Let me show you one other thing. So I'm also bringing, these are some earrings that, um, oh, yeah. also my same friend Crystal who uh, gave me that sweatshirt, she made these, she gave them to us when you ordered something from her. I ordered from something her, I'll show in just a moment. Oh, from her Etsy shop. Yeah. Yeah. Like and a little bonus gift. Also our friends oh, yeah. gave us these um, fun earrings that I got so many questions about when we were on the magic last year. These earrings were a gift from the Dyer family. We went on the magic with them a year ago today. So I'm looking forward to wearing those again. Now I have lots of options. Yay. This last week I put all of my clothes in my uh, packing cubes and these are like compressible ones. So you put it, put the clothes in, you zip it up, then you zip it up again and it gets nice and thin, which is great. I love that. Some of the stuff that I want to show you guys that is kind of new. A lot of times you go to hotels and the pillows are either way too like full or they're just like air. They're like nothing there. So I got myself a travel pillow. It's a memory foam pillow that this should work really well. If it needs to be thicker, I can always fold it up, fold it up twice, but you can compress it. You can roll it down like that, put it in this bag. And then it's like a stuff sack almost where you just stuff it up. And then you can like close it up even more with this. So uh, Viverto is the name. We'll link it in uh, the video. You can find it on Amazon. That's where I got it. We got our passports and something new. I got a passport holder. Uh, Tom Talk uh, makes this. It's really, I love how like low profile it is. You can put credit cards in here. You can put cash in here. So we'll probably put our tip cash in here as well. Just to have everything in one place. I have a question. Yes. Is it waterproof? 
I believe so. I'm asking because when we were on... I, I can't say for sure, but the zipper looks like a waterproof zipper. And just got a new D23 Gold magnet. It's with Genie. We did get a few new magnets that I wanted to show you, though. We love good towel animals. The shop I got these from on Etsy is Views and Cues. Oh, yeah, that's what I was And wondering. they have a really good YouTube channel as well. You should check them out. We love towel animals. That's pretty amazing. That so towel animals, please. Fun. So we can put one of these on our door and one of these on your dad's door right next door awesome. to us. Awesome. Yeah. And then when I'm not cruising, I'm planning a cruise. Yeah. Well, that is definitely true. <laughs> Very true for us. Poopery. Yeah, you got to have that. That's essential for the bathroom. You got to make the bathroom smell nice after it doesn't. Uh, little clips for outside if you want to oh, hang up good. our bathing suits or whatever on the chairs on the uh, on the veranda. Mm -hmm. These clips, make sure they stay secure, they don't fly away. Past coffee cards that we have stamped already, bring in those. Nice. Hamper, classic. I love the hamper. Oh, we got our Ma Magic Band Pluses from the Wish Cruise last year. So we'll bring those. I am happy to get a second use. That's gonna make me feel better about spending that money. Yes, <laughs> and this is for your dad for his Kilo World card because he will not have a lanyard. It's his first Disney cruise. Nice. Yep. Air tags. We use these a lot. They're amazing for tracking luggage, and all of the batteries have been replaced that need it, but I got my initials on this one. But we just hide it in our luggage. Hopefully, this is helpful. If you are going on a Disney cruise and you want to know what to bring, uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. If we didn't, like, if we kind of flew past something really quickly and didn't mention much detail about it, if you have a question, Feel free to ask, we'll do our best to answer. We have a few more things tomorrow we wanna to show you guys before we start actually finishing up the packing process and getting everything ready to go because we are leaving in two days. So pumped to go on this cruise. Happy St. Patrick's Day. One year ago, we were boarding the Disney Magic today. And tomorrow we're gonna to be taking off for the Disney Wonder. Carrie is making a six hour slow cooked corned beef for tonight. Uh, we got some Irish stout beer and all the things that we need to properly celebrate St. Patrick's Day, at least the best we know how. We're just kind of finishing up some things, getting ready to go today. We'll take you along for some of it. A little bit later today, we're also going to drop by McDonald's and uh, pick up maybe a uh, Shamrock Shake or Shamrock McFlurry or two, eat our crumble cookies. And by the way, I'm super pumped. I hit my goal weight before the cruise and I saw it this morning, so I'm super excited about that. Good morning, Lens. Good morning, Father. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. You sleep good? Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's like a whole new type of freedom to know that I have zero homework. It's amazing. That is great. So but you, you didn't get the memo. What? It's St. Patrick's Day, yeah, I know. Happy Redhead Day. What? I'm pinching you. You're not wearing green. Oh! <laughs> you might get pinched at church. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> I just did something exciting. I scheduled Lindsay's DMV behind the wheel test. And we were hoping to do it in a nearby town because we heard that it's easier there. But the first day she's eligible to take it, they're closed that day. So she has to take it here in Modesto, which it's like a kind of crazy downtown area with lots of one-way streets. Oh gosh, yeah, it's stupid. But yeah, I when I was driving, um home from youth group the other night like I took a or I forgot to turn at the street I was supposed to turn so I turned on a one-way street but yeah but it was an interesting experience we are about to leave for church and we'll probably pick the camera back up after we get back home and do a few more things this afternoon with you guys uh, as we're getting ready to go on our cruise well we just got back from church and then we stopped by McDonald's to get the girls uh, shamrock McFlurries I didn't get one they also got fries classic no I didn't $18 on fries and two McFlurries? $18 for two McFlurries and two medium fries. That is criminal. Yeah. Well, we don't get fast food very often, but in my mind, I think- Especially McDonald's, but- In my mind, I think fast food cheap. That's not cheap. Nope. Nice. There's no more dollar menu at McDonald's, I don't think. So Alyssa mixed hers up. You can see that it looks actually like a shamrock shake McFlurry, but when they got it, it was like not mixed up at all. You can see the green coming down the side. Yeah, like look. Yeah, it was, it did oh. not look good. It's been five years since I got baptized because I remember I got baptized on March 17th and I was talking to dad about it earlier and it was 2019, so 2024. So it's been five years. You should have worn the bracelet we got for you. Oh, I'm sure not. Yeah, that popped up in my Facebook feed uh, this morning when I popped on to check something about the cruise. 
and I saw that and I texted the picture to Lindsay and she's like, oh my gosh, I was tiny. That was awesome. I actually got to baptize Lindsay uh, when I was on staff at our church at the time. A few years later, did the same thing with Alyssa. But yeah, five years ago today, she got baptized in really cold water. <sighs> No, no, we gotta pray first. <laughs> Practically the South Pole. There's four little pendants. So there's a cross, because you know I'm getting baptized. Um, there's like a diamond, because that's like the April pendant, and I was born in April, or the April. Um, birthstone. Birthstone, yeah. And then there's a four leaf clover, because you know I got baptized on um, was it St. St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day? Day. Yeah, it was on St. Patrick's okay. Day. And then there's the L for, you know, my name, Lindsay. Happy St. Patrick's Day and happy. Uh... Baptism anniversary. Baptism birthday. Mm -hmm. Baptism birthday, baptism anniversary. I, I like baptism birthday. It's I do more, too. That's more boring to it. Baptiversary. Baptiversary. <laughs> A little bit later in the day, Carrie is making dinner because it's St. Patty's Day. We're having corned beef and I can't wait. I love corned beef. But Carrie just threw away a giant hunk of fat and we're looking at what's left of this meat. And we're like, whoa, what happened to it? I bought the smallest one because I knew we were going to go out of town and I didn't want to have leftovers. Smart thinking. But look how, and my dad's coming for dinner too. The, the fat cap was like this tall. That's and then crazy. I just scraped it off. But I'm going to put, the recipe I have says to put um, brown sugar and honey. That and, looks amazing though. And uh, it looks like it's like super tender. Why is it called corned beef? I've said before on this vlog that my favorite place to get recipes is Carlsbad Cravings. She does amazing recipes. And so this is her recipe, although I got the pre-pickled brand one instead of making my own like she suggests. But anyway, she has a whole story of where all this comes from. It's corned beef because it is, you use all this pink salt on it and that's actually what gives it the pink color. And the, um, the salt was as big as corn kernels when they first were making it. So that's why they called it corned beef. Almost ready. Hopefully my dad will be here soon. Um, yeah, your dad's coming tonight to uh, head to the airport early tomorrow morning. Yep. All right, corned beef, T minus, what, 30 minutes, hour? T minus as soon as my dad gets here, we'll eat it. There you go. One more thing I want to show you guys is recently, gosh, maybe a couple weeks ago, I went to our PO box because, gosh, we haven't been there since the beginning of the year and we just haven't had the chance or the time to drop by there. We had actually a bunch of stuff, so I want to show you a few of those things. We got a bunch of Christmas cards uh, that we found, not because they were sent late. We didn't check our mailbox uh, until this past month. I think it was for early March. We just felt bad, but if you see your card here, thank you for sending them so much. We didn't ask for people to send cards this year, but a number of people did, and we're super thankful for that. And a viewer of ours, Gail, sent us a blanket I'm going to show you in a minute. I love this so much. And I love how it has a bunch of like Disney characters all over it. Donald and Mickey and I want to say Cinderella, I think, and Cogsworth. Thank you, Gail. We love it. And this is not something that we got uh, from a viewer, but this is something I ordered and it's the Magic Candle Company. We got a few more of the scents. We have some of these, but they're uh, wax melts. This one is Pirate Banana Rum, Flying Over Orange Groves, which is from Soarin' Over California. The original, the OG, Bayou Adventure. They're probably trying to get ahead of the new Tiana ride. I think it's also supposed to smell a little bit like Blue Bayou. Really love these things. If you've never gotten them before, check them out. MagicCandleCompany.com. They have so many different scents from the parks and even from from the cruise line. And it's just really, really cool. We love it. And I know we mentioned Carrie's dad a moment ago. He just got here. Carrie went outside to greet him. I'm gonna go outside and help him with luggage and we're so excited he's here because that means, well, we're leaving early in the morning for the airport uh, with him. Uh, but we'll introduce him to you if you've never seen him before in our videos. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this corned beef dinner. Uh, smells and tastes so good. Carrie and I sampled just a little bit of it uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> So I said just a moment ago, Carrie's dad got here. We're actually down at the table eating dinner or about to eat dinner. I haven't started yet because I was working on the pool outside, getting that ready before we go. I want to show you this food, but before I do that, uh, let's introduce you to Carrie's dad, Keith. This is my dad, Keith. Say hi. I just want to take this opportunity to salute you. And I am happy to be here going on this amazing trip. My loved ones, let's just hope that they're not sorry that they brought the old guy. We are excited to bring the old guy. I'm, I'm excited not to be the old guy. I hate to pop your bubble, but 
It's inevitable. It, I some, know. Someday I know. it's going to be you. Well, this is the food Carrie made, the corned beef and all these veggies that go with it. And uh, this is an Irish coffee stout, nitro stout. Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mmm. That's good. It's not Guinness, but they didn't have any Guinness there, I guess. They only had bottled Guinness, and I didn't think that would be as good. But this meat looks super good. I had a bite earlier, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to need to floss tonight. It's really good. I think it's pretty good, too. Well, I'm going to have some more of my dinner. We'll see you all later. Yeah. We got all of my stuff here ready to go, and I believe I'm ready to close this sucker up. Pretty sure we're ready to go. We still love this level eight luggage. Uh, we'll link in the description below the video where we talk about level eight luggage. We partnered with them last year, right before our Disney uh, wish cruise. It's still holding up really, really well. It's time to eat sugar, pure refined sugar right there. I can't believe I hadn't had any sweets in uh, two weeks. This is definitely a record for me. I've also been working out. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you have. I don't know which one I like better. I don't know which one to end with. They're all really good. This is hard to decide. End with the coconut lime. I think it'll be a fresher taste. Yeah. Last bite, lime. Mm. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Good last bite? Yeah. Wow, we're gonna have sugar in our system for the first time in a while. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. We are headed to San Diego. Well, first we're going to Sacramento and we're headed out to the airport. So we'll see you in San Diego. We are so excited to be here. It is beautiful. We've been here for several hours. Had a great, easy flight. Got here to San Diego, checked into our hotel. One thing we love about San Diego Port is it is right across the street from where the wonder will be here tomorrow morning. Our girls, even though they're teenagers, they love this park here. They were having so much fun playing in the park. We went out to a delicious lunch. San Diego is fantastic. Even better tomorrow, we're getting on the wonder. It was interesting traveling with with your dad. Yeah, everyone has been so nice and helpful and friendly. We had a wheelchair at the airport with Southwest Airlines. They let him board first and they let me go on there with him. They're there waiting to take him off on the, on the wheelchair. Um, so it's just been, it's been fantastic. Great start to this trip and we can't wait. Tomorrow we are boarding the Wonder and we are going to take you along with us for our embarkation. And we are enjoying some coffee from our favorite coffee shop here, Portal Coffee. I have a chai. I have a Thin Mint Cookie Mocha. <laughs> it's okay. so good. That is really good. Someday we <laughs> want to come here and spend more time in San Diego. It is such a fun place to be. We're going to say goodbye until tomorrow. Thanks for uh, following along with us as we packed and got ready. And now that we are here in San Diego, we can't wait to get this uh, cruise started tomorrow. See you again soon. Bye. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.